met her many times, given that she's from Oakland, and uh, we've been uh, fortunate enough to visit the White House. Uh, she, she was there, but also a few trips to California. Uh, I've met her several times, and she, she's a Warriors fan. She's, uh, she loves our team, she loves basketball. First, first gentleman is, is a Laker fan, unfortunately, but you know, we'll live with that. Yeah, so we, um, all we did was a walkthrough today, pretty much. You saw the end of it, but uh, no, no live uh, contact uh, today, so um, everybody should be good to go tomorrow. You know, I've got to talk to the training staff. There's some bumps and bruises, but I don't anticipate anything major. Uh, sorry? Yeah, Kevin won't play too. What is the, not what's Well, he's, he's you know, already uh, doing plenty of things uh, on the side, so not with the team yet, but uh, you know, strengthening uh, treatment. Uh, so he, he said he's feeling pretty good. And, uh, so we'll just keep taking it day by day, and it, it won't be long before he's out on the court with us, and we'll just uh, give you updates as we can. Yeah. 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 I want them to bring their very best selves. You know, uh, I love that Anthony Edwards said he's the number one option. I want him to think that way. And I want five, six other guys to feel that way too. Uh, that's the beauty of, of being on this team. Uh, these guys, uh, they're all capable uh, of taking over a game. And I think as they go, they realize uh, uh, that mentality, that aggressiveness uh, is actually a good thing. Uh, because they're all committed to each other. They, they don't want to disappoint one another. You know, they, they want to make sure they're bringing their best energy, best game to the floor every night for their teammates. All right, we'll go back here to Jeff. Jeff, we'll go Jeff and then Jeff. Yeah, that's I mean, having Steph on the team is is fantastic for any any one of a number of reasons. I mean, he's obviously a brilliant player, but the comfort level that we have together, um, you know, we'll run some of the same actions that we want to go to state uh, for him. Um, he's very familiar with everything we're doing. Um, but it's not just X's and O's. It's, um, you know, one, he's one of our leaders, and for me to have uh, the ear of uh, one of our leaders and vice versa. And I think it helps the communication process with the rest of the team. No. I didn't even ask. He, he committed before I even asked him. I've admired Spo since uh, before I got into coaching when I was in broadcasting and I had a chance to visit with him before games and um, you know, do a lot of his games and get a feel for who he was. Um, I always just loved his combination of confidence and humility. Um, he's a uh, very, very good communicator, um, not only with uh, our players but with the rest of the staff. Really clear, decisive in what he wants to see. And, um, you know, he, he, he and the Heat have built an amazing culture. We all talk about it, and it's a real thing. And, uh, so having Spo on the staff is, uh, is really a, a big, big deal for me um, and a big deal for the team. And uh, getting to know him now behind the scenes and last summer, uh, he's every bit as good or even better than I thought he was. Thanks. Just so you know, we're going to have Katie, Van, and Kawhi up here. The assistant coaches will be downstairs, but...